This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Let's uh, let's talk about Louie. We got lots of comments about Louie because you and I talked a lot about their relationship last week, but I don't think we really even scratched the surface on the relationship with Louie. Uh, Mr. Flair has once told me about going to hang out at their house and he referred to their multi-level house in the woods as the tree house. But I think you had a different name for that property, right? Well, it actually did have a name. And, uh, when Pat first, you know, saw this house and he came back and he was like looking at it and he's telling us about it. And he's like, I think it had like 122 windows in it. Some ridiculous number of windows. Every single window in the place was a different size and different shape. So it was, it, it had, uh, I think three levels to it. The one of the master bedrooms had, it had a second story to it, which that's a whole nother story that, uh, probably shouldn't tell. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, it had 12 lofts in the house. So there, there were 12 different lofts that overlooked different rooms throughout the house. Um, and so when Pat was, you know, describing this house and he go, Oh, but you got to see it. It's such a gimmick that the house then became when Pat moved in, Vince got him a, a sign to put out in the front door. Shay gimmick in French. <laughs> So it was the gimmick house, Shay Gimmick, not Shay Gimmick, Gimmick. Because you got to have that French flair on there. Not Ric Flair, but you know the other kind of flair. Got it. Okay. Uh, let's talk a little more about Louie. I think uh, if my research is correct, Pat came to Boston to, to wrestle in 1962. And he's starting to learn the language. And he also... Learns the love language for Mr. Louis Dondero. They met in 62 in Boston, which is pretty remarkable. I think Louis passed away in 98 and they were together the entire time. That's one of those rare wrestling relationships. You know, we often make reference to the successful wrestling marriages because that's pretty uncommon, uh, but Arn Anderson's been married forever and ever. And at Patterson was sort of married forever and ever you and the missus have made it a long time. It's just, it's rare, but. Pat was with Louie from 62 to 98. Yeah. Longer, longer than a lot of marriages and, and happily as well. And it was, I think that Louie, you know, helped Pat get by, uh, help teach him English and just a lot about the United States in general. But, you know, Louie, I think also helped teach Pat an awful lot about life. Like he did with everybody. And Louie had such a way of talking that he could disarm anyone uh, just by by talking and, and had an infectious laugh as well that would just kind of bring you in. And Louie could explain things in just the simplest of terms that you went, oh, OK, yeah, I get it. And um was a very special, was a very special person that, that loved Pat and kind of made it all complete. And this is Jim Cornette, you know, talked about that there was a time in WWE where I, I didn't have a last name or Pat didn't have a last name. It was Bruce and Pat or Pat and Bruce. Yeah. Uh, we were always mentioned together in the same breath. Well, it was the same thing with Louie, you know, it was Pat and Louie. Yeah. And they had a special, just a very special bond and, and love that, that carried on for a hell of a long time. And it was, uh, it was really incredible, especially when you think about living their lifestyle in the wrestling business in a macho business. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.